So you guys, today's video is we're gonna be doing a compilation or customizing shoes without any paint. You guys, we have done a lot of crazy stuff. We have, we have customized a lot of shoes without any paint. We done like comic books, we done Rick Dog, we did coffee, we did Hydro Yo, we did a lot of crazy, we even did Kool-Aid. That's the crazy thing. So today I need y'all to choose the best experiment that I've done on a pair of shoes without using any paint i need y'all to comment down below we on the road to 500k with all that being said hopefully you enjoyed today's video compilation very Let's very go. very very excited to do this you know what i'm saying i've been looking at this a lot on tiktok and i'm glad today is the day where we officially try dyeing the shoes so very first step is i'm going to be taking out the shoe laces got to take them out okay you guys so the next step we're going to do is we're going to prep the shoe we're going to go into acetone the whole shoe we're going to strip it off just so the dye can really saturate within the shoe okay so the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to actually tape up the swooshes on the shoe so that's why you see i got this red vinyl tape which is very good for when it like goes in the water it's not going to come off it really sticks to the shoe that's why i always recommend the red vinyl tape and i'm actually putting that in the description below so make sure you cop that we finished taping up the shoes now it's time to put the hot water in this bucket where I get this bucket from Walmart that's where I got the bucket from and then we just unclamp this we just throw this over there I got the hot water boiling in the kitchen now I'm put the hot water in here then I'm gonna put the dye in here then I'm put the shoes I'm gonna dip it just like that not hydro dip but we rig dyeing shoes today We gotta keep doing more and more pots. These are all the pots we got up in the house, for real. So you guys, I was ready to do this without any gloves and I thought about it. That's a terrible mistake. That's a terrible mistake. Don't, you're not supposed to do this without no gloves. I can't even put the gloves on though. But, it should be pretty cool. And you know what I forgot? I got something to stir this up with. We gotta stir it up. We gotta stir this thing up like we stirring up some Kool-Aid. All right, that didn't make any sense. We'll put that to the side. So, the time has come, the time has come. We about to dip these things, ready, set, go. Oh, snap, how do you get them to like, stay this? Oh, what a hot. Sheesh. So, I'm letting these things sit in here. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time ever dying shoes this has to sit in here i'm thinking it has to soak it has to soak all in the shoe that's what i'm thinking it's really pitch dark i can't see a thing down here you know what i'm saying yeah we're gonna take it out take the brick out this water is hot though what i'm really thinking is these things have to sit in there for a little period of time but if you see it's like one right here yeah, so we're gonna let this thing sit for a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna show y'all the final result. No, first I gotta rinse it off and then I'm gonna show y'all the final result. A few moments later. We let these things sit in there for a good about 10, 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take the brick out. This brick is hot. Here you go to the first one. I can tell this look. It's actually pretty cool though. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I'm gonna put this in here so I can rinse it off. I ain't trying to make no mess in the room, in the studio. Nah, that's pretty dope though. Yo, that's pretty tough. I can only imagine like after you like wash it off a little bit. Nah, that's pretty tough. All right, so now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna rinse them off and I'm gonna be right back. A few moments later. So you guys, this is how they came out. But we gotta take off the red tape. So I'm gonna take this off. Wow, satisfying. Satisfying. You know what's tough? Is that it made like the stitching that color. That's the tough thing about it. Wow. 
You guys, look how this came out. These came out pretty, pretty, pretty fire. I mean, just look at them. So you guys, I'm excited. So we got a pair of all white Air Force Ones. You already know my favorite. And here's the materials you will need. Air Force Ones, you will need a comic book. I got the Marvel Avengers. You will need Mod Podge. I said that wrong, Mod Podge. Some scissors. Of course, you can find this anywhere in your house. Um, some paint brushes. And also, you will need an X-Acto knife. So you guys, now you already know what we gotta do. We have to acetone the shoe. We have to prep the leather before we put the comic book on there. Okay, you guys, after we done prepping the shoe, now we got our comic book out. And basically all I'm doing is, I'm just looking through the comic book and figuring out what pieces I wanna put on the shoe. So I'ma just use my scissors and cut out the pieces and then make sure just to put them to the side. So you guys, after I cut out the pieces, what I'm gonna do is actually cut these up a little bit smaller. You want them small to be able to put on into the shoe. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. So you guys, now it's time to actually put the comic book onto the shoe. And basically what I did is I dipped my brush, I put in the Mod Podge, and basically what I'm doing, I'm just painting, like, I'm just applying the glue onto the shoe. It looks like I'm painting, but I'm actually applying the glue. And now what you wanna do is take your piece of your comic book and make sure you add some glue to that as well. You gotta do both, you guys, so it actually sticks to the shoe. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing right now is adding the glue and then putting it on to the shoe. Okay, so now we at the next step, and this step is very key. So what you wanna do is take your X-Acto knife and basically cut out the excess comic book. And all you wanna do is rub your finger across, like, you know, at the right, right there at the midsole of the shoe, and basically, like, make sure you can um, see a crease where the line is at so you know exactly where you're cutting it. That's what I did, and actually, cutting it really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that hard, to be honest. And I'm just basically doing the same thing over and over again, applying the Mod Podge, putting the um, Mod Podge on the comic book, piece and then cutting it out with an exacto knife. Wow. <laughs> 
so you guys i know you're wondering what is that piece doing underneath the swoosh at the bottom half you know of the shoe so basically that i mean it happens when you kind of like take off pieces so but it's no big deal because basically all i'm doing is applying my podge and putting comic book right over top of it so it's no big deal at all you guys if you do this at home and you see that don't panic don't freak out just continue to do the same thing put your comic book over top and then just do the same steps <music> My brother's butt money bleed I got the game in the squeeze What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick and choose the fam of the cheese Some people not built like that Some people get killed like that Pressure like water, lights, mortgage I've been at bills like that Now I got kids like that No wonder why I feel like that Some people go to war for nothing Me, I go to war for something Some people need knives and guns Same ones just talk and run Some people go to war for nothing me, I got a wall for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'm a fight. I go down. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. Look. These comic book Air Force One go so hard. You know what I'm saying? The thing I want to do next, kinda, is like, I want to take like newspaper and do it. I've seen people do this on like skateboard shoes, where they take newspaper and put it on here too, and then put a design over top. I think that is also sweet. I think that Jordan is One. Now it's time to just put it on in here. You know what I'm saying? Ready? Oh, it's all white too. Ready, set, go. Oh man. I gotta sit in there for some hours. Really gotta soak. Really gotta soak I need something like heavy like to make it stay down. Yeah, it gotta stay down there. Need that brick. I'm mad at that brick. So, I'm actually gonna put the shoe strings in here too. Why not? Dip them all in there. Yep. They just gonna sit in the bottom. But this is the thing, you guys. So we got the Jordan one in there. That thing got a soak. That's the only way. See, that's a trick, and that's the trick I didn't do. I'm, why am I phone so loud? That's the trick I didn't do last time was with the red dye. I did not. Um, I didn't let the shoe sit in there. So this one, this dunk, we're gonna do the same thing. I think the dunk gonna come out sweeter. What you think? What you think, Jamie? It's gonna come out sweeter, what? Yeah, it's gonna come out sweet. Yeah, I think these both gonna turn out dope. Mm -hmm. Check this out. And then I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some to make it, um, to make it, uh, all right, take this, put it over there. All right, now we got this one. We got the dunk. Now we're about to dip this dunk in there, okay? All right, ready? Set, go. Oh, the dunk's gonna be sweet. Ooh. Yeah, the dunk. Hey, yo, the dunk gonna be sweet. So these things gotta sit in here for some hours, bro. That's the only way this one works. They gotta sit in here for some hours. Like, you can't just, huh? Yo, this is crazy. Dang, should've put this on. Tick tock. We gotta die. 
All right, yeah, I'm gonna go get a pot and make them just like sit in there. So my sister gave me a great idea. She said, go get a pot that you was using and make it sit under there like that. Yep, they're sitting. And the shoe in there too. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of clean this up a little bit and we're gonna let that stuff sit in there. 24 hours later. So you guys, this is how they look after it been like over 24 hours. This is how exactly how they look. I'm about to pull them up just so you can really see. I just need to get some gloves again. Hold on. You guys, so now it's time to really get them out of there. Oh, wow. They've been soaking in coffee for so long. That's the crazy thing. Hold on. There you go. Oh, they've been soaking in coffee for so long. It's trick. I'm gonna have to really wash this out though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna really wash this out. Alright, put this over here. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So yeah. That's what it looks like so far. So I rinse it off and then you know I gotta do else what I gotta do. Put that right there. We got the Nike dunk. We got the Nike dunk. Squeeze that, get that all out of there. Alright. I'm gonna rinse this off later. Then I got the shoe shrinks. Pretty dope. Put that over here. And then it's another pair of shoe shrinks down here too. Yeah, here you go. Another pair of shoe shrinks. We got it right here. I rinse them out real quick. And then we are going to rinse these off. There we go. So you guys, now what I'm about to do, I'm about to rinse these off and I'm about to like let them dry and let them sit. And then I'm actually gonna show y'all the final, final look. And then I need y'all to judge exactly which one better, the Nike Dunk Low or the Jordan 1. So you guys, there we have it. Jordan 1 coffee, Nike Dunk Little Coffee. I want y'all to choose which one y'all think was better. This one came out really good. I'm gonna have to go with the Jordan 1. I mean, it came out really cool. I really like just the colorway. Like, it's just like that sail cream type colorway. I love it. But also, like, you got the Nike Dunk Low. And for some reason, this part was like a lot darker than like the toe box. The toe is like very, um, it's like a different shit. I'm gonna go crazy. So you guys, we're about to attempt this joint. This is gonna be crazy. So we, can we really customize shoes with shaving cream and Angel's leather dye? I think we can because like the GOAT himself, I forgot his TikTok, I'm gonna put his TikTok right here. He did it, so I gotta try it. I mean, we got the shoes right here. 
Oh, snap. We got the shoes taped up. We got the shaving cream. Hold on. And we got the shaving cream. This is a dollar at Walmart, so I had to pick it up. We got the blue, and we got the red dye. This is finna be crazy. Let's go. Okay, you guys so this right here now i'm just putting like the blue leather dye in here first i'm just sprinkling it like around to get like a pattern and then i'm gonna do the red and then after that i'm gonna like swirl it around so it can really become like a really pattern when i dip it Set, go. I'm nervous. Hey, I'm nervous. I don't know how this is gonna come out. All right, let's go. I just dip this on in there, though. Oh man. Hold on. It gotta get uh, this side. It gotta get in there, though. Okay, it's in there. Hold on. It's in there, but it gotta get in there. All right, I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna take this up right here. But it needs to go back in there because of this side. All right. Oh, come on, come on. All right, go back in there, that side. Yeah, I need to do that because this side is missing. Oh, I think it's gonna be cool, you guys. Oh, all right, come on. People probably think I'm ruining these shots. Okay. Oh man. Yo, that look crazy though. That look crazy. Okay, you guys, so after we put them in shaving cream, we gotta take the water hose over there and we gotta spray them off to see the finish. But man, it look crazy already though. Oh man, look at the swirls and everything. Yo, I'm excited. Hold on, let's go get this uh water hose. So you guys, for my first time ever doing this, I think this came out really, really cool. You know what I'm saying? I think everything, just like hydro dipping, everything has a technique to it. And you just gotta do things over and over again to get a good technique. <laughs> So you guys, we are going to be customizing these all white bands, old school with Kool-Aid. And you already know the first thing we gotta do, guess it, nope, you already know it. We taking the shoe trains up out of there. We gotta take the shoe trains up out of there, you know what I'm saying? We're not dying up. 
And basically what I'm doing with this plastic bag is I'm stuffing the shoe because I want like the tail toe, not the heel toe, the toe box to be like very like stiff, you know what I'm saying? Not flimsy. So when I paint on it, you know what I'm saying? Straight, you know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm doing is I'm getting the plastic cups and now I'm about to fill them up with the Kool-Aid packets. And as you can see, we got many different flavors. You know what I'm saying? Many different flavors. We got the orange. I mean, we got the blue, we got the red, we got the watermelon, we got the grape, you know what I'm saying? We about to do it up. Hey, yo, I, if I was y'all, I would watch all the way to the end because we finna do it up. This finna be, actually be a very, very cool experiment. I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, how do you really paint shoes with Kool-Aid? Like, that's crazy. So you guys, we're gonna be actually painting these shoes with the Kool-Aid. Like I said, I did not wanna dip it. I wanted to see if just like the Kool-Aid itself, like can it just dye the shoe? So that is what I'm doing. And it's coming out not so bad, you know what I'm saying? Just to be painting shoes with Kool-Aid. You gotta keep watching the video to see how it comes out because it comes out pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. So you guys, this is the thing. The thing is like, this blue is really like, it's really dying the shoe, which is really cool. You know what I'm saying? So as I was doing this, I really should have taped the shoe. That's the very first, let's just be honest. I should have taped the shoe because this stuff is splashing everywhere. So if you do this at home, make sure you tape around the shoe. I thought I'm some big old professional at this and I thought I shouldn't be able to tape the shoe, but no, you should tape the shoe. So you guys, now we moving on to the watermelon. And like I said, I should have taped the shoe. You know what's crazy? I actually, as I was doing this, I was just like, man, I had to keep cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it. And the crazy thing is, the more and more I started like using this Kool-Aid, the more and more I really wanted Kool-Aid. <laughs> like, I really wanted some Kool-Aid. And then it just smelled like Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? Like, watermelon. Like, you get what I'm saying? And this is the part right here where I messed up completely. Like, I messed up because the blue got on the yellow, and I was just like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you guys, so now we doing it right. Now we got the red tape, and now I got the other shoe because I messed up on the first one. Now, I'm gonna be honest. We all mess up at times, it's okay, but now, we, we cooking now. I got the red tape out, and a lot of people still hit me up about this tape. The tape is 3M vinyl red tape. You can get it at Amazon. Click description, I mean, click the link in the description below, come on. All right, now we working with some, we cooking with some. Okay, I know y'all gonna get me, but this the thing. See, I didn't tape up the bottom. I should have. Now, I should now. I'm gonna be honest. I should have taped up, you know, underneath this part, but I felt confident in myself. I felt as if I don't really need no tape. I, I don't need no tape right now. I got this. All I gotta do is take my time, just dab on the Kool-Aid on there, get it, you know what I'm saying, get it right, you know, just make sure it's dying, and, and we good. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really need to do that. I saw off camera is that you really when you're doing this you really have to keep putting the kool-aid on there you have to keep doing it but you guys as i would say wait till the end product you're gonna be like yo this actually came out pretty cool i mean it really did though you just gotta keep watching that's the thing and, and the thing is what i did off camera is i had put just a lot of kool-aid on there you know what i'm saying i put a lot and the crazy thing is i know i keep saying the crazy thing is but you know what the crazy thing is, <laughs> is that it smelled like Kool-Aid and then I wanted Kool-Aid. But then I used kind of all the packets to make Kool-Aid. So I couldn't make Kool-Aid while I was doing it.
I thought about adding a little bit of, you know, orange to the back coat. I said back coat. I meant back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my good. I can't believe I said that. To the back heel of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? The back heel. And we're going to see how it comes out. Should come out pretty good. And this time, you know what, you guys? I decided to tape it because I'm doing so good so far. I do not want to mess up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to mess up. So I had to tape this part. I should have did it the first time. But you know what? Maybe that confidence, uh, maybe, maybe it went down just a little bit. <laughs> how they came out they came out pretty clean like i think just like the dye uh, and within the kool-aid it just i don't know but this came out really cool i ain't gonna lie to you. it's almost like that pastel colors like the blue is tough like wow you can really paint with kool-aid that's a crazy thing like you can really paint with kool-aid and it's like yo these actually 